Carl Peverall describes his muse in The Source. We uh, created a fountain last year that, that we really loved. It was really like a lot. It was called In the Beginning. It was the first fountain that we'd ever made. And it was one of these things of, of beginner's luck. And it just fell together pretty easily. And it really was a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece. And uh, I don't know if JF is still here. Uh, but he, he, the owner of it, was here a little bit earlier. But anyway, he got, he, he has that, and we wanted to sort of use that thing that we learned with that fountain, the sense, the sense of proportion, the little bit of the design elements, to create another one. There are some similarities, of course, but this one took up a whole different character. Uh, here's a, a situation where we have incorporated a man-made object in stone. We're always looking for this, and we like to leave things as natural as possible. But at the same time, we like to 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 create from scratch as well, and be, and find ways to make those compatible, which is not an easy thing to do. But this one just really, really called for it. And uh, one morning, you know, early over coffee, I just got this idea that well, these bowls. We were trying to create create a, just a, a channel to the top. This was going to pour over within the idea that, that that this bowl shape could actually be used as a dispersion tool by drilling into it. Because you, you you could you could send water now in any direction, and that was like aha. So this is the, the only one so far that we've used, but um, I, I I really enjoy that that aspect of it. Um, this. Another thing too with the fountain thing, we're just we're in the infancy stage of really developing this. We, Ethan and I make a, 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 these melodic drums that we that, that we're very into more as a hobby kind of a thing. But music and sound is a very important thing around our house. And the thing that I think most everybody really loves about fountains is the, is the sound. And there's so much to be explored about about that and what the elements of stones, the way of pouring, what goes into all that that we're really looking forward to, to getting more and more involved in. It's called the source. My favorite. Your favorite. In my garden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't. We really didn't see this work until yesterday, about what, 4:35 o'clock. We finally got it together. We, 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 I came out early this morning and just visited with him and just quiet. Just <laughs> very happy. And in the late evening, too, the sun coming from that direction just illuminates this whole arch form right here and just a sheer face of, of, of bright, luminous, glossy water. That is quite, quite What are the range of prices? Well, there's a, there's a page right there. And folks, there are more in the back garden, so we'll start shifting that way. If you want to walk through the house, got, that would be got, fun. Uh, just, just. And the show goes on. Join us as we hear about Lucky, the Giant Arch by Carl Peverall.